Hello, 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 and welcome to episode number 84 of Minos the Kings, back here in San Marino with SS Cosmos, where today is a double header against Jose Mourinho's Roma. Uh, we are at home for the first leg, uh, which is great. In terms of the odds, if I can try and find it again, uh, it's not too bad. Roma are the favourites, but not massively. You know, there's there's a there's a chance that there is a chance for us. Uh, although Mourinho has dismissed our chances, uh, he said that they've had a good stroke of fortune being posted against an inferior opponent. It gives us the opportunity to rotate the squad. So ha perhaps they do rotate the squad, and that gives us the opportunity uh, to to pick up a, a result here. Uh, of course, we are battling as it stands with Roma for second place in the group. Almost a full lineup uh, for today's game. The only one that we've got missing is obviously uh, left back, uh, which is Dokic, because I can't register him. Uh, he has been playing for Serbia quite regularly since he's joined us. He's done very, very well for them. He's also done very well for us in uh, the league, although it is the San Bruno League. Anybody can do well in that uh, as it stands. So the lineup that we're going to go with is Avenatti in goal. He is developing very well. His determination is going up. This is near. This is we're working on this. We are working on that. Uh, it's going to be Mante as the right wing back. Uh, we're going to go Cipriano and Posicio as the two centre halves, and then we're going to have to go with Bono as his left back again. Alfonso as the regista with Moon, Prout, and Revolta as the centre mid. Uh, Albula, as you notice, how there has got an injury. Uh, Romero has also got an injury. He has got a groin strain, and he he picked that up on international duty, uh, so he's out for a little while. Uh, and then up front, it's the uh, Villa Martinez partnership. Uh, so hopefully, we can uh, we can we can bag ourselves a decent result here against Roma. Uh, it would be be awesome if we could uh, beat them at our place. It doesn't look very rotated though, does it? Livakovic uh, in goal, Jogo Jota, Tammy Abraham, uh, Pellegrini. Yeah, it's not not really a rotated squad, is it? <laughs> Thanks, Jose. <laughs> um, I still think we can I th potentially pick up a good uh, a good result, though. Um, we because we, we need to really. If if we want to progress, then we need to. We do, I believe, have Benfica beaten into third place. Obviously, with that win that we picked up against them, we, we'd still need to go to the Stadio de Luz and pick up a result. Uh, but if we can pick up anything from these two games against Roma, it would be absolutely fantastic. Uh, but Roma do have the early ball. It's Spence. Uh, feeds uh, Zaniolo, now Anderson, to Nando. It feeds Tammy Abraham, looking to find Diogo Jota. Finds Zande, and still Diogo Jota again. Great ball forward towards Tammy Abraham. Abraham's in already. Tammy Abraham has scored after a minute and 20 seconds. Uh, not the best of starts, really, is it? Not the best of starts for us, really. Uh, it's just poor defending. Diogo Jota has just been allowed to run. I suppose that's the, the disadvantage of not playing with wingers, is that the right fullback is dealing with the, the opposite fullback and the wide player. Uh, and that's what's happened there. We've been caught out by that. Uh, and we are behind already. Right, Cosmos attack, 17th minute, Bono with a throw into Martinez, now Bono with the ball into the box towards Avia, and John Avia's done it again, with his 24th goal of the season, and we've levelled the game, which is awesome, John Avia is absolutely awesome for us, he's a fantastic player, and I'm I'm so pleased that we've uh, we managed to pick him up for relatively cheap as well, he's just spun his marker there, first time volley passed. Livakovic in goal there to level the game, but we're straight into a kickoff highlight. Let's uh, let's not concede straight away, guys. After we've just got ourselves back into the game, uh, Ibinez finds Diogo Jota, Pellegrini, Zande into Ibinez again. Now Pellegrini, they're passing the ball around quite well here. Roma, Diogo Jota comes short for the ball. Are they doing anything with it here? Yeah, they've gone over the top towards Jota again, uh, and that's the ball that's catching us out at the minute. But Diogo Jota with an absolutely wild effort. Uh, has has let us off there. That uh, that ball in behind the fullback seems to be uh, catching us out a little bit um, so far. Bono's had another fantastic performance at left wing back. Uh, maybe that's his position. Maybe that's his position. Uh, anyway, can we can we go and get ourselves in front in this game as Avia pinches the ball there? Poor pass by Zande. 
Avia advancing down the right-hand side, gets the ball into the box towards Martinez, gets his head on the ball, but it's gone just over the bar, uh, and that was the opportunity for us to go ahead. Right, approaching half-time, Basicio with the free kick, and it's it's gone just over the top of the bar, uh, but we are approaching half-time, and it's been quite an even game, to be fair. Um, although, if we do that, that's not going to help. It's Tammy Abraham, great tackle by Cipriano, but the ball's broken for Abraham again. Uh, Avenatti in goal makes a fantastic save. It was a great tackle by uh, Gustavo Cipriano there. Uh, but the ball broke for Abraham anyway, but the goalkeeper's pulled us out of the mud there. It's a good header away by Cipriano again, and we are going to get into half-time with the game. Fairly even, slightly better XG for Roma. They've had a few more shots as well. They've had a lot more of the ball, which this that's just a, a trait of this tactic. We don't see a lot of the ball. Um, but, we, we, you know, we're doing okay. It's one all at half-time with Roma. Uh, if we can bag ourselves... A goal, I think we can we can nick this game, which would put us in second place in the group. Uh, anyway, Mante with the throw in again, but have we given the ball away again? We have. It's gone straight to Pellegrini. Don't know what the crack was with that throw in there. He had two players right in front of him. Anyway, it's Spence. Gets the ball across to the box towards Hammy Abraham, but it's well headed clear by Basicio. But only as far as Pellegrini. Now Spence again. Pulls it back for Zaniolo. Now Zaniolo again. Great block on the tackle there, but Diogo Jota with the finish. Picks up his third goal of the season. It looks like Revolta's picked up an injury as well. I don't know who made the block. It might have been Revolta who made that block. And he might have hurt himself doing it. Uh, but whoever it was, it was a fantastic block from the shot from Zaniolo. No, it was Alfonso. Uh, Alfonso who made the block. It was a great block, but the ball's broke too. Diogo Jota. Uh, Amante really hasn't covered himself in glory there, has he? Uh, right fullback seems to be an area of weakness for us because that's two games now that the right fullback has uh, has been caught out in a couple of a couple of times. Uh, it looks like Revolta is okay, uh, but Martinez is not having the best game as this pressing forward. Let's get Nicolo Kudrig on. Revolta has actually picked up an injury. Uh, we'll get Teo Aiton on, and we'll go with that. We'll make those couple of changes. Hopefully, we can uh, we can get ourselves back into this game. Cipriano with the corner. It's a deep one towards Basicio. Davide Basicio has levelled the game for Cosmos again with a fantastic header from the corner. And it's Cosmos 2, Roma 2 in the Champions League group stage. Great corner, deep one. Basicio beats his man in the air. Was it Tammy Abraham? He's beaten the air. And it's a fantastic header back past the goalkeeper, Livakovic, there to make it 2-2. Two, two. And it's a much better European performance this season compared to last season. We struggled last season, but this time around we are we're doing really, really well. Uh, Mante with the throw in, it gets the ball into the box. Uh, it's easy for Livakovic though in goal. Uh, let's not let Roma counter into the final 10 minutes. Katnic to Spence. Now Katnic again to Pellegrini. Turam, now Giugeri, uh, uh, Zaniolo with the ball over the top towards Tammy Abraham, brings it down nicely, finds Diego Jota, finds Zaniolo again, what a fantastic save by Avenatti, that was absolutely brilliant save by the young Uruguayan there, kept us in the game, we do have the corner to defend though to be taken by Pellegrini, uh, it's towards that back post and it's gone over the bar, Avenatti's made an absolutely awesome save there, uh, and it's going to be a free kick for Cosmos. Can we pinch it at the death? It's going to be Avia to take the free kick. It's a good one. Oh, it's gone just wide of the post. That was the that was the chance. Jem Prout's had a poor game as the advanced playmaker there. Let's get um, let's get Traore on. Let's swap those two around. Uh, let's do we go for it at home or do we do we settle for the draw? I think we settle for the draw. Hopefully, Pellegrini with a free kick to Tuta. Avenatti's made another good save, but it was offside anyway. Avenatti has had a, a good game. He's only on a 6.9, but he's made some crucial saves for us. We're into the final minute of injury time, and it does look like it's going to be a draw against Roma with a pretty much full-strength team as well. Uh, Diogo Jota picked up the man of the match, but John Avia, our star man again. Avenatti made some fantastic saves in that. It's clicked on Cipriano. I wanted Avenatti. What a, what a fantastic player he is. He's valued now between 2.1 and 2.9 million. We paid 1.2 for him. 2-2 um, with two Roma. I'm, I'm pleased with that. That keeps us alive in the group. Keeps us alive in the group. And hopefully the later kickoff is Chelsea against Benfica. Hopefully Chelsea can win that and gives us a comfortable cushion over Benfica. 
uh, going into the second half of the group stage. It's another £800,000 in the bank, though, uh, for the draw. Revolta's only a small injury. Persicio could do with a rest. I'm just going to click forward and see the result of the Chelsea game against Benfica because that could be a really, really important result for us. Like I said, we're aiming for the th minimum of third place in the group. Chelsea won 4-0. That's, that's fantastic. So if we have a look at uh, the group, we are currently joint with Roma behind on the goal difference still. Of course, it goes off head-to-head, -head, uh, but we've drawn with them. So we, we're just one goal worse off than them. Looks like Benfica are going to finish bottom of the group, hopefully. Uh, and it's fantastic. Looks like we could be extending our European campaign this season for the first time in a little while. Uh, I'm going to click ahead though, get to the next Roma game in Rome at the uh, the Olympic Olympico in Rome, and I'll catch up with you guys for that second half of the episode in just a minute. All right, guys, welcome back to the away game against Roma. We're off traveling to the beautiful city of Rome. Uh, absolutely fantastic place. My wife and I had my our honeymoon in Rome. Uh, we absolutely loved it. Um, so we're off to face Jose Mourinho's Roma in Rome. Hopefully we can uh, we can continue our great start to Europe this season uh, and pick up a shock result against Roma. Uh, the lineup that we're going to go with today is going to be a little bit choppy changey. We've got a couple of injuries in the squad again. Alfie, I keep calling him Alfie Moon. Where the bloody hell is Alfie Moon from? Who? I keep calling him it. There you go. Alfie Moon. Alfie Moon is uh, is injured. Um, he's not back for a little while. Romero is injured. He's back in six days. Cipriano is actually injured. Uh, but I'm actually short at centre-half. So I've given him an injection to get him through this game. I, I don't like doing that. Uh, but I needed to get him through the game. Um, so what we've got today is we've got Avenatti in goal, Mante, Cipriano, Basicio and Bono, uh, the same back five as the last game. Alfonso is the regista again, with Revolta coming in as the, uh, the ball winning midfielder. He can play that position quite well. Uh, Prout is the advanced playmaker and Teo Ailton uh, coming in as the centre mid on attack. Enjoys big matches, which is, which is great. Uh, he is a little bit concerned though about uh, playing in a weak position. Um, potentially I could look to move him on a little bit forward in the league just to keep him happy, keep Man United happy as well and then Martinez and Avia as the two up top uh, so yeah, hoping to pick up a win in Rome which would be absolutely fantastic for this club hopefully Chelsea do the business again against uh, Benfica as well which will stand us in good stead Roma have brought Eddie Enketia into the squad uh, we've played against Enketia before uh, I think this is the third different club that we've played against in Ketia for. The first one was Arsenal, where he absolutely destroyed us several years ago. Uh, I can't remember who the second was, but now he's at Roma. Uh, we could quite easily just have a quick look, couldn't we, to see... Was it Liverpool? It was Liverpool. Yes, we, we played against Arsenal. Or was it Basel? Because we didn't play Arsenal that early on, did we? Was it... Have we played Basel? I don't know. I'm, I'm sure this is the third time we've come up against Eddie Nketiah. Anyway, uh, let's get the game going. Avenatti with the early goal kick. It's gone deep towards Martinez, but it's won in the air by Ibanez. Now, Diogo Jota looking for Nando. Persicio beats him to the ball, though. Avenatti clears it long. Martinez wins this header. It's a great header on, but Avia can't get there. And Ibanez passes the ball back to Livakovic. Now out on the right-hand side to Christian Spence. Finds Diogo Jota in a lot of space. It's Spence again uh, to Bentecourt. Looking for Nando over the top, but it's well cut by Basicio. And now Jem Prout, Alfonso Revolta. Looking to get Teo Ailton away. Can he score? He can. I've got no idea how he scored or what, the, what on earth happened there. <laughs> but we've took we've taken the lead in Rome. I what what on earth happened there? What great through ball by Revolta, great run by Teo Ailton. Did the defender get back to him? It looks like he did, and it beat Livakovic. The defender looked like he tackled that into Teo Ailton, and Livakovic was caught out by it. Uh, and the ball trickled into the into the empty net. That is 
a great goal to score, though. That puts us ahead uh, against Roma. Um, and that moves us into second place in the group, believe it or not. Pellegrini looking for Enketi, though, but it's well cut out by Mante. Calmly heads it back to Avenatti in goal, who clears it long. Looking for Avia, who brings it down nicely. John Avia. Oh, John, you've got to score. You did, you did the hard bit, mate. You did the hard bit. Uh, Pellegrini with the corner for Roma, though. He's gone deep towards Ibanez. It's a great save by Avenatti. And then they, he's hit the post with the, the follow-up. Uh, and we've cleared the ball, but Christian Spence is bringing it back down the right-hand side, gets the ball into the box again towards Nketiah, but it's good head of way by Cipriano as far as Ibanez. Now Zande he finds Benton Kerr to Pellegrini, switching the ball out wide to Diogo Jota. Benton Kerr again, Tuta down the line, gets the ball across towards Abraham, but Cipriano's there again, but still Roma piling the pressure on with Pellegrini now. Switches the ball again out to the left towards Zande who advances towards the penalty area. Great through ball to Nketia. Uh, Avenatti is beaten at his near post by Eddie Nketia. Um, poor goalkeeper in that time from the young Uruguayan. Shouldn't be beaten at your near post, really. Uh, it was great play by Roma, though. Switched the ball a couple of times from left to right to right to left. Great through ball by Zande. Nketia has lost his man. Uh, and like I say, that's really, really poor goalkeeping from Avenatti. We are still in a comfortable position in the group, though. Benfica are still currently drawing with Chelsea uh, at the Stadio del Luz. But hopefully we get to the point where it, the game against Chelsea is not going to matter at the end because that could be crucial to us going through. Uh, we, we, we'd need to hold on to this, though, in Rome, if we could. Um, Spence to Diogo Jota, and we fouled him. There's no way we fouled him there. Surely not. Teo Alton, our goal scorer, has apparently tripped Diogo Jota in the area. And it's going to be Tammy Abraham with the penalty. Uh, Avinati almost got there. Almost, almost got there. Uh, but we are now behind in Rome. Behind in Rome. Good penalty by Tammy Abraham. We don't need to see the replay of the penalty. Uh, can we get ourselves back into the game now? Approaching half time, we, we you know what we're not out of the game. Half time two one is is pretty decent away in Rome uh, against a, a strong strong Roma team. Um, it'd be nice if we could get back into it though. We'll give the boys a little shout. Prout's not having the best of games uh, as that advanced playmaker. In fact, we might look to take Prout off or do that. Because we don't have a lot of options on the bench. We'll give it a go. We'll give it a go and see what happens. Uh, but half an hour left. And it is a throw in for Roma with Spence. Now Nando. Spence again. To Tuta. Benton Kerr. Pellegrini. Looking for Tammy Abraham. Forward towards Nando. Finds Jed. Uh, Christian Spence. I nearly said Jed Spence. Uh, Christian Spence drives towards the byline, pulls the ball back to Jota. Now Benton Kerr again uh, he's held off the challenge there. Diogo Jota with the effort from range. He's hit the crossbar. Uh, Mante just hacks the ball clear. Come on, Chelsea. Get a goal. Get a goal. That would give us a cushion. It'd be better if we could get a goal as well, though. Uh, we, we'll, make, we'll make some changes. We'll get Nicolo on for Avia. Avia's not really done it today. Uh, Jem Prout hasn't actually got any better. Uh, let's get Triori on. Swap these two around. And we'll swap these two as well. Um, I don't really see a lot of other options that we have. Uh, do we, can we go... A bit more attacking. Um, work ball into the box. We'll move that off. We've got high anyway. We don't need to time waste. We're, we'll give that a little go. See if we can get ourselves uh, a goal to get ourselves back into the game, which would be which would be absolutely fantastic. Uh, it does look like second place in the group is more than likely going to go to Roma, though. Uh, Chelsea have now taken the league. Haaland has scored for Chelsea. Uh, it's a disappointing defeat, though, in Rome. Only 2-1. So it's not that bad. Avenatti had a good game, though. 
Rome did dominate the game. Um, it would have been nice to get at least a draw, but you know we've come to Rome. We've only lost two one. It's uh, it's not a bad result, really, is it? Uh, it does make that game at the Estadio del Luz crucial for us, though, unless in the final game of the group stage, Roma can beat Benfica. Um, I believe that's in Rome. I think we'd, we'd probably need that to happen. Uh, Pellegrini picked up the man of the match. They've got a very, very old squad, have, uh, have a Roma. Uh, next episode, though, guys is going to be Benfica at the Estadio del Luz and then we welcome Chelsea to the San Marino Stadium where hopefully Chelsea have qualified they've qualified already so they don't really need to play their strongest team do they um, but we need to beat Benfica basically the next game for us at the Estadio del Luz is the most important game of our season it's uh, the most important if Chelsea can beat Roma as well that would put us in a, a, comfort, a, a good position to, to potentially take second place in in the group um that's it for the episode though guys we've we've made some signings as well again for the future we've got some 16 17 year olds some 19 year olds a, a lot of 17 year olds uh, we've brought in this guy as a central defender from uh sc heidenheim uh for i can't remember how much we're paying for him not a lot i don't think but he looks quite decent doesn't he he's resolute he's got some good physicals some good mentals good technicals for a center half he's also a right wing back uh so you know we've got a lot of look, look how many signings we're trying to make we're trying to look for the future we've got 15 year olds 17 year olds 18 year olds this this is all thinking about the future but all of these guys are joining us or are in contract talks uh, kane partridge is a goalkeeper from canada 16 year old so we're looking we're looking at that uh but yeah guys thanks for watching we'll catch up with you in the next episode for the benfica game i've been dean and i'll see you all next time <laughs>